Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. Patient is being presented today because of a metallic type of bite raising appliance, which you commonly see. It's not the type that we use here at the school, but you will run into it occasionally, and there are some problems with it. Now, fortunately, this patient does not appear to have any problems with the use of this bite plane type of appliance. We do not have any radiographs of the patient, uh, of the teeth, or of the temporal mandibular joints. These we will take later, but she has no complaints referable to the joints or to the teeth at the present time. Now, when you observe the patient, you can see interorally that she has a rather large metal appliance, and when she closes her teeth together, close please, there is anterior separation of the teeth. So there has been a significant increase in the vertical dimension. Now this appliance was made for the patient because of temporal mandibular joint problems. And with the use of the appliance, uh, they have disappeared. May we take the appliance out, Mrs. King? As you can see, it's a well-made appliance. It uses clasps to secure the appliance to the teeth. But all of the increase in vertical is in the posterior part of the mouth. Now of significance here interorally is the fact that the teeth have been intruded which is the common sequelae of this type of appliance. Turn sideways, the other way. Notice the space between the bicuspids and the molars. I'm gonna close your front teeth together all the way, thank you. Now, in most instances, not only is there intrusion of the teeth with this type of an appliance, but there is also increased mobility. Now, when I test the mobility, as we usually do, with the use of a mirror, open, please, in the end of the handle, in my finger, for example, I'm pushing a little bit on each of the teeth there is no unusual movement here. Generally, there isn't in the area of the appliance, but opposing that in the upper arch, there generally is. But as I press on the teeth here, very little evidence of increased mobility. The same is true for both sides. Sometimes, because of the opening and loss of contact in the anterior, with a patient wearing an appliance like this most of the time, there will be extrusion of the anterior teeth. Could you close, please? However, that does not appear to be the case with this patient. You close your back teeth together as well as you can. Do you have any difficulty chewing? No. Do you use the appliance yes, when do. you're eating? Mm -hmm. Obviously, the patient is getting along very well with this appliance, and with the exception of the extrusion, there seems to be no other problem. Now, this is not generally the case. And for that reason, we do not advocate 
this type of an appliance. But when something is working uh, well, you generally don't interfere with that type of treatment. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu/license.